Hey guys, it's July 31st. I'm in Vancouver, BC right now. Absolutely love it up here. On this episode of the podcast, Renee Wong, CEO of CastBox, joins me as a guest. We discuss a few different things. We discuss the monetization via LiveCast, a new feature on CastBox, the beginning of a token ecosystem for podcasters, and we answer some live questions from the audience on LiveCast. I should probably mention that CastBox is one of the most popular podcast players in the world and has won numerous awards. Renee also does her best job to communicate all of this in English, so if there's some parts you don't quite understand, definitely go back and take your time listening to it. I would also like to note that I'm giving away free signed copies of my book, The Satoshi Sequence. So if you'd like a free signed copy, send me an email at blockhashteam at gmail.com to find out how you can get your free signed copy of my book. All right, guys, enjoy. This is the Block Hash Podcast. Oh, I can hear you now. Can oh, you hear okay. me? Yeah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's Hi, how are you doing? Great, uh, Brandon. So, yeah, great. I'm, gr- I'm glad that we can talk. Cool. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, I love the future, uh, future um, live cast and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going really well. Love playing around with it. It's kind of cool. I mean, you can do this whole pre and post like chat now for like podcasts and like radio shows and stuff and it's yeah. on the phone. Yeah, I got to play with this more. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you do the uh, auto record? So after the conversation, you can get the audio file. Okay, <laughs> definitely. I think the audio was with my headphones. Okay. I, um, I think it was on my computer, so I don't think there's anything wrong with the software um, or the or the platform. But yeah, uh, thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm sure most people here and that will be listening to it know who you are already. Um, but do you want to give like a brief background uh, for the listeners? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Renee. I'm the founder uh, and uh, CEO of Castbox. And uh, now we are in Castbox. So basically, I didn't need to spend too much, you know, detail about the Castbox. Uh, yeah, but I, I think we la- I launched, uh, I quit my job at Google Japan and founded Castbox about four years ago. And uh, and now I think Casper is one of the biggest uh, third-party uh, podcast, pure play podcast app. And we also have some innovations like livecast, in audio search, community, try to make the audio thing the, the more social, more community-driven. And uh, yeah, and now I think we have a team of like uh, almost 70 members, half, more than half are engineering, fo- focusing on improving the product. Yeah, but still we are, you know, on the early stage with to bring more innovations and uh, creative ideas into the industry. Yeah, that's a very brief introduction. Yeah. No, CastBox has been awesome. It's definitely been gaining a lot of recognition. It's won a bunch of awards and everything. Um, so tell me a little bit about LiveCast and how that kind of is a new feature and that adds value to the platform. Yeah, I think um, because during the past four years when we talk with uh, podcasters, there are two major uh, points, I mean, two major pain points for, for, for them. And first is engage with users because uh, nowadays the to creating a podcast is a long, long process from finding a hosting platform uh, to, you know, do the record. If you are using interview, you have to find Skype or some other, you know, uh, software to do the call and do the record, do the editor. And, uh, and then upload to hosting and then distribute and then go to a- every single channels to find feedback if they have any and ask the followers to go back to their the host the social media to, to get fe- gathering feedback. So this is kind of a whole thing is really hard for creators and the cr- listeners to engage with each other. So try to find a way to, to try to short, shorten the, the, the loop uh, between you know, between creating content to getting feedback is one of the major, you know, major issues that are facing hosting hosters are facing nowadays. So this is one one thing we want to solve. Uh, the second biggest, uh, you know, thing is for monetization, uh, because previously we have a Patreon to get the donation, but because uh, for Patreon you have to go to you know go to a third party, uh, you know, Patreon website. 
to link your website, link your credit card, you know, if you want to donate to some, uh, or like tipping to some like, uh, you know, favorite, your favorite host. So the process is longer and it will, uh, you know, it will make the conversion rate lower. But here, you know, within the, in, within the live cast, we try to add in kind of like a feature, uh, uh, tipping features. For example, now I just sent a cloud, which is I purchased uh, by, uh, you know, buy coins and uh, in Google Play and Apple Store, and then and after I give the applause, the the virtual gift uh, you can cash out, because in this way during the very live conversations, you know the the host the host if they you know they are really doing a great job, and if the listeners want to appreciate uh, the the great content that the host has created, so they can you know do the real time uh, kind of like donation, real time supporting. So it may become, I mean, later it will become, I hope it will become one of the major monetization channel for the podcasters. So basically, as I mentioned, there are uh, like two, two things we want to solve. One is engagement, one is monetization for the host. So that's why we create a live cast. And I, I think this is quite a new feature in the podcast industry, but we really um, hope you know this tool, but this tool will be free. It's not, it's free and it will be free forever. So we really hope you know podcaster can leverage this tool you know to build a better user base and uh, and someday when they get you know more loyal users they can get more monetization, a monetization method. Yeah. Absolutely, like the monetization too. It's awesome for creators. Um, and I know we were talking before this a little bit about. Um, some like virtual assets um, um, that you'll be able to use to contribute to the creators or vice versa, like during like a, a live cast. How does that all work? Uh, this is a virtual gift that was uh, per- can purchase by coin and the coin was um, was available on, on you know, in, inside cast box. You can purchase via Google Play or Apple Store by the in-app, uh, in-app, my, in-app purchase IP. And then for every coin uh, that user send, and the the host will get once uh, one star. And uh, when it over uh, like when the star you know worth over ten US dollars, they can go to the website, uh, the hosting platform to try to cash out. They can cash out both on Android and the website because iOS didn't support uh, cash out inside the app, but they can go to whenever they. They are free. They have time. They can go to the website or Android version to cash out into the real cash, and we will pay them via PayPal to go directly to to their PayPal account. So this is uh, the process. It's like uh, very easy, and the people didn't need to worry about too many other kind of like uh, like a uh, uh, credit card you know takeover or like uh, you know taking about too many like a uh, payment uh, method. Because for users, it's very easy, just like a gift, like a kind of like a, like a gaming. Inside the gaming, there are some kind of like virtual gifts. There are kind of some uh, some different kind of like a way to 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 support podcasters. And maybe in the later, we try to you know we try to adding more features. Not today, but in the later, when uh, live casters get more audience, we try to do more promotion inside the the, the users and try to uh, educate their you know their uh, educate their behaviors uh, to to give you more uh, you know to to kind of like give you more virtual gift. There are a lot of like uh, because I, as I mentioned, it's like like a game. So there's a lot of like a methodology in gaming industry that try to increase the the increase the monetization rate. So because we try to say, for example, for every new users, maybe later, it, who jump into the live classroom, we can give them some some virtual gift, and and maybe for some other uh, situations, if users can finish some task, we can give them more virtual gift, and then they can using the virtual gift to appreciate to show appreciations to their host. And then they can get this kind of like a reward uh, after giving the virtual gift when the host say, oh, really appreciate, thank you for, for supporting me. And it, 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 it makes users feel good and it will increase their, you know, their TPing, TPing behaviors in the long run. So that would be something that we can, we can, you know, we can improve in the future. But nowadays, I think we, we still focusing on trying to bring live casters more listeners 
and uh, because they have bigger listener base in the future, they can have more possibility to get higher monetization. Yeah. That's awesome. It sounds a lot like what Steemit and uh, Basic Attention Token were working on, um, but the features on this already are really cool, and I can already see how everything's going to work together. Um, and I also saw that you were the co-founder for Content Box, and Content Box is kind of similar as well. Um, can you explain what that is a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think Content Box um, is. We are more building now the, the infrastructure, the technology technology infrastructure level. So for the application level, I think it still may take two or three more years until it, they go to the application. So for Content Boss, I'm another co-founder of Content Boss is who used to be a scientist in Facebook focusing on distributed networking. So so for, for Content Boss, we are more trying to build the, the blockchain-based decentralized ecosystem or infrastructure and try to support a different kind of like uh, uh, like a kind of like a content consumption uh, content consumption in the future for example maybe in the long run all the uh, very individual creators can create uh, their own token and uh, they can act like kind of pre-sale their own token like kickstarter but only for word, uh, digital content and then for every people nowadays, for example, so if you go to Kickstarter to say that, oh, I'm going to do a do a podcast uh, with this kind of script or this kind of idea, you you can you can try to do the Kickstarter to give me some uh, some kind of like a launchpad, uh, go to the mini launchpad to to f- fund me. But nowadays in Kickstarter, every single people who do the who who giving the the money, they get nothing. Maybe they can get a, uh, a kind of a T-shirt or some other kind of like uh, uh, some maybe a T-shirt, maybe a bag with a logo. But basically, they can enjoy. They cannot share a portion of the revenue in the future. But uh, we can solve that in the blockchain because all the things are open source. All the things, all the money transaction can be recorded on the on chain. So, so basically, as I mentioned, an individual. Uh, uh, an individual content creator, they can create their own token and they can sell their own token to some of their early adopters of, or like uh, fans or followers of his previous content. And by by get, getting the getting the you know selling the token, they can get some money to do to maybe to find a better writer to you know to re, to improve the the script. They can find a really great uh, actor. And to you know, to produce the the content, they can they can using the money the the fundings to buy some you know devices or some equipments, and uh, and 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 but in the later once the content was live, every money I mean every I mean every money who uh, revenue when they sell the content in the future when the content is live, every every dollars when they when they get by the content they can share a portion to the early investors it's much like a kind of like a, a small ipo it's kind of like for every people who buy your stock they can share a portion of the company but by by blockchain by by the content boss every early adopt early fund, uh, investors of this kind of like small token sale and they can get a kind of like a security token which means that they can share a small portion of the content in the future. And all the things can be done automatically on chain. There will be no fraud. There will be no no need for, for people to do the to, to do the checking. So but as I mentioned, we are still not doing the very basic infrastructure level things. What I mentioned of this kind of scenario must to be, be built once uh, once the uh, the infrastructure is built, and then the middleware is built, which means API is built, and then this kind of like a mini small, you know, mini launchpad can be mini crowdfunding launchpad can be built, and beyond that, we can have some other kind of like application built on Content Box. For example, like uh, there's another use case called a uh, decentralized, uh, an, a decentralized player. It means that there there used to be a very 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 famous. Uh, a P2P uh, player called uh, called KP, uh, and but this kind of like a P2P player, it it didn't work because it cannot pro- provide the the 
uh, protect the content creators. And uh, this kind of like P2P is like, it's a little bit like BitTorrent. So people, there's no centralized service. People can download and the people, every single device can, can be uploaded as a small, as a small uh, CDN, part, uh, node of the CDN. But the issue before that, because when there was no token, people can people only want to download, they do not want to upload. And for download, it's awful free, so that's why a lot of copyright issues. So that's why we want to improve the, the whole token economy inside of this kind of like decentralized uh, uh, decentralized player. For every people, if they download, they should cost some token. If they upload, they contribute. Even they, they are content creator, they are, they are, they are the owner of the, 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 uh, of the content. They can they can get the certain tokens. So and also in the in the chain of all, all in the chain of the content creation, for example, for the people who do the translate, people who do the script can also share a portion, and then the whole ecosystem can be can run. So compared to the previous the decentralized the, you know player P two P player, this kind of like a token based player, it can add more economy. Uh, incentivized uh, in, inside the the whole the whole uh, the whole behaviors. So make make sure that content creator can pro provide it. People not only want to download, but they want to upload. And uh, and even for example, if you are fine, you don't want to to contribute. You only want to enjoy the content. It's still fine because you can purchase the, some content some tokens in the you know in the in the like a token token marketplace. And then you can for example just like play, play a game. If you, are gay, if you don't want to spend money, you have to do the contribution, you have to play spending more time. But if you don't want to spend more time, but still want to have the best equipment in the game world, you have to pay some money. So it will like that, kind of like that. So this is uh, some second scenario. And the, the, two, the two use cases I just mentioned is only, you know, it's only like a, uh, uh, it's only like a, Two of a lot of like uh, you know the whole new decentralized content world, and uh, you know the, the the it will change the whole the the whole way we are doing like today. So so that's why I think if this should happen, so there should be some kind of like a content blockchain can support all this this like a scenario. For example, the transition should be confirmed quickly, and uh, all the transitions. Should, it's in small amount. It's quite different from maybe from other, you know, from other blockchains needed. So, but it should be very small band, very high frequency. So try to increase, uh, increase the uh, the confirming, increase the confirming efficiency, and try to download the fee, and try to make all the like, uh, and also for content they need the multi owners. Try to ma make the multi signatures and are all very important. And also try to make the, as I mentioned, both on the crowdfunding and on the uh, crowdfunding mini pipe and on the decentralized P2P player, they all need different kind of like, kind of like different layers that the money should be shared to different players. And uh, so this is kind of like a methodology. It's quite different from some uh, public, some other public blockchain, which is focusing on generic, uh, uh, generic industry. So this is like why we try to build something, really try to fit the future, uh, the future, the future use case for decentralized content industry, and try to make all this, all this, uh, all these things happen with with very easy, very kind of like a turnkey solution or API that every single uh, content creators or every like uh, small developers can be built on on it. Yeah, this is like the whole ideas of the content box. Yeah, it's awesome. Sounds like you got a ton of stuff going on and a ton of cool features coming out. Um, yeah. So I asked the audience um, if they had any questions. you mind if I ask you a few? <laughs> so do you have any questions? I think Richard asked uh, a few minutes ago, will iPhone users get an update where they can set people as admins? Oh yeah, uh, I think this feature will be launched soon in, I think in two versions. Uh, so for Android, we already okay to set admin and block users. And for iOS, it's like, uh, it, it already on in pipeline. I think we'll, we'll be in, inside of the app uh, within two weeks. Very cool. Doug's World said, uh, was the idea for Livecast to be more intimate 
rather than just a podcast or just uh, a radio show? Yeah, yeah. I th- of course, I think the idea of live pass is it's much bigger than only podcast and radio because um, there's um, there's my feeling of the future of the content consumption besides the whole decentralized world as I mentioned uh, which can be you know which content board can contribute in the future I think the future will change too much especially after 5G because like after 5G I mean all the devices not only phone all the devices can connect to internet all the all the calculation can be done in cloud so if this is happen if this is true the whole the whole world like people connecting with information or people connecting with people will will changing totally so it means that in the in the maybe in the near future within 2 years which 5G is you know it's more kind of like it's is is do, do, dominant so it means that all the devices can connect with the internet and all the, most of the devices didn't even have a screen so it means that all the audio will be one of the main main way for people to access information and people to connect people so that's why i think live cast will also be built on on that part so that would totally not you know not related to to podcasts or not related to radio anymore this is a new way so that for people to kind of like have real time engagement have real time you know engagement with people have real time content gathering with the most updated uh, uh most updated uh, uh you know uh worlds so that would be totally i think that would be a, a little bit uh, idea for live cast in the future as i mentioned it will not happen within this year or next year but within two years so with you know, after after two years, that would be you know totally different for live cast because it's more social, it's more entertainment, it, there's more engagement, and there's more real time feedback. So and also it will be based on all the devices as I mentioned without screen. So this is why we are doing live cast. Uh, so and also uh, beyond to that, I mean even within these two years after the 5G is dominant, I think even within now, I think live cast also changing the changing the way for creators. Previously, if only if you want to create a podcast or radio, you have to be a very uh, very professional professional content creator because it takes a lot of time to create a content. But for the live cast, uh, even UGC, like user generated content, can still share, share share some attention of a certain part of the users. It means that you know, for, for a live cast room, didn't need, uh, you know, 100 or, or 10,000 people, maybe only three people, if they want to chat with each other, they can also still build a live cast chat room, which is means that, so it's, it can mean that if only if the topic you are interested, you can join. So that would be also different from the current uh, podcast industry, which only, you know, professional or, or you know, semi-professional creators can create good content. And only people want to listen to some, uh, to some like top, I top top pro, high produced content because they if they are no there's no engagement the quality of the content is is crucial, so that's like uh, so that would be changing the whole world just like how YouTube changing the, you know changing the DJ or changing the the video shooting world. Yeah, totally. Um, we'll do one more question. Uh, Rolly, Rolly, he asked, "What is Livecast's main competition?" Uh, so for Livecast, uh, uh, we are the, now the only one, so we do not meet any direct competition. I mean, for Castbox, because there are too many podcasts, out, we have a lot of like, uh, like users have a lot of uh, uh, options. But for Livecast, we are the only one. We do have some uh, like a video live streaming, uh, you know, people uh, live live streaming thing. We are all which are all big giant like uh, like Facebook live, Instagram live, YouTube live, and also for Twitch and uh, caffeine. But for for uh, we have used to be a be a compare to all the kind of like uh, live streaming thing. First, we are the only one who are very focusing on audio. Uh, second, uh, we are the only. A few one, one of the only few ones that can supply, uh, can support this kind of like a call in. Just like now, I'm talking with Brandon, so which is real time discussion. 
And also, we are the only one that ha has almost no le uh, legacy because, for example, Facebook, uh, if you do a live cast, take about 30 second legacy. But now we can have real time discussion, which means that, you know, like last week, we just launched a trivia game. You know, in the live cast by asking questions and the user can getting the getting the answers, you know, within one second. So this is like even as I mentioned, there are some live streaming com services, but uh, but compare but but mention about the features as I mentioned, and especially for virtual gift, only Twitch has that uh, other than Castbox. So we have like so many unique features which are very focusing on audio. We're focusing on this kind of like uh, interactive, uh, you know, conversation and this kind of like kind of like uh, gaming, like virtual gift things. So that that means that Castbox is quite unique uh, in this thing. So, uh, but I I but if this feature is good, I I think there would be a lot of like uh, uh, competitors in the in the short term. So that's why we try to move faster, try to be more innovative, and try to be more creative. Absolutely. Well, Renee, thank you for coming on and everything and testing out this live cast with me. And I think Blockhash is obviously going to be using it more in the future to help the in audience interact and ask questions and everything. So, yeah, yeah. I de definitely appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. And I really appreciate it for giving this uh, this uh, this feature a try. I understand there are still some a lot of improvement, but we will try to make our best to to make the feature as as good as possible. Absolutely, it, it was awesome the first time around. It worked really well. Yeah, thank you, thank you, and uh, All right, I really Renee. appreciate it for for your time. Of course, thank you, Renee. Have a great thank day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.